important to have all the gears, the bevel gears here to get an idea of, uh, okay, I can match these two, these two, these two, this is too big for the frame. Uh, using this one might not be easy in this case. to join I want to couple this this way so let me see uh, I, might, I might want to do this let's see if this fits without touching it here yeah it might work but I need this gear to be um, alpha units uh, so I will take this Bushing here. And this is now aligned. Now let's see if I can just attach the plate here and have it working or not. So I will grab two plates. One, two. And then stick this over. And they should match. Oh yeah, it works. Now, problem is, as, long, as soon as you touch this, it will get detached. So here, the idea is we have to use a reinforcement technique, technique called bracing. This is one of the cases where you have to deal with the constraints of the assortment. So one, one thing is I could use these together with another pin and using a particular uh, geometry that it's also shown in my book, you, you can couple this. You have brick, plate, plate, brick. At this point, this cannot come off anymore. This is called bracing. But maybe I want to use this brick with pin later, so I could replace it with a brick, with a pin, and get the same, exactly the same result. As you see, I am bracing, like embracing, locking together, this plate together with this frame. Another option, oops, it's flown away. Another option is getting, well, there are many of these bricks. I could use these together with an axle pin, attached on top here and locked again. So I might need to replace these later on if I find that I'm, I'm, I really need, for example, this part somewhere else. In this case, I don't mind, I will use this and maybe switch them later on. I might want to prolong these ones to brace the whole thing on top of uh, the helicopter to brace the whole thing uh, uh, down until the bottom of the, of the hub. But again, this is a refinement we will make later. Now I'm just building, sketching a, a prototype as quickly as possible. And talking, believe me, it's it's slowing me down a lot. Okay, so now we have this thing done. To prevent this from shaking, how about this? We will use another Technic plate so it doesn't shake anymore. And maybe this is, you say, this could be too high. And you're true. So we need to know, ah, and notice that I used uh, an Excel with a stop so it cannot be pulled off and it cannot be pushed because there is another axle preventing it from being pushed. But there are other axles with stop in the set, that's why it's important to know the sets, the parts in the set and I, I am expert about this set, I designed more than 30 models with it. So we have a three axle with stop which is brown, dark, uh, four uh, mod Lego models long and a five Lego models long. So I think Four is too short, but five might be the ideal one. So let's, in this case, we have to disassemble everything, unlock this one. If it's hard, I need to use the part separator as a 
okay, it's a wedge, okay, and then I get this out, I push this in and replace. Another useful tool as I move on uh, with some design is documenting the, um, the steps I made, in, 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 especially in the case I have to um, to step back to a previous uh, stage of the design is to take photographs, which is the fastest way with your smartphone. You take photographs in reverse, so you can document the disassembly or the assembly steps, or even using CAD on the computer. I made a 3D model using Studio. I don't use Studio. I use um, LD CAD uh, of the Lego Draw system, Lego Draw uh, suit, and I document the model of the prototype and then I can make more modifications because well real Lego designers has have uh, multiple copies of the same prototypes but we but we don't have that so we have to live with what we have the best idea here to make a spinning propeller is okay it's taking a plate which in this case is free to rotate and make it lock it with the axle with a plate which has a cross hole and on top we could place another one okay and okay how about this this propeller is very small let's make it larger let's attach some long plates and cap everything with another plate hmm? okay so, well, not bad, not as long as I would like it to be, but okay, it's fine. We could cap it with uh, this dish to make it look a little nicer. So I can touch this. Ah, before I go on, we need to find a way to, uh, to press this, even if I cover this up. And I have an idea, well, I have a, let's say, a design that I made in the past. So another useful way to design things is to build yourself in your mind or taking notes, a sort of, um, a sort of how to say, it, a, a recipe book of ideas that you can recycle on and on. Access this button using a lever. So this is a design I made and I keep using it because it works very good. So I use these and when I rotate the axle, this turns on. So it's flashing blue because I think I have the Pybrix firmware flashed onto this hub. Okay, and now here I can access uh, the start button from the outside, even if I don't see the button anymore. So I can attach something on top Whenever, wherever I want without any problem. So you see um, that it's hidden now. I could even make this lower because now it's too bulky and the whole helicopter would be too bulky maybe and the propeller is too, too low. I might even put this back but that's for a later design stage. So okay let's leave with what we have now or maybe we can use, no, these are wasted here. You know why? Because I need a longer tail. So how about this? I detach this. So you see that I am discussing with myself in this case and see that I have to improve the design. So I need to step back. This is a small step back so I don't have to document anything. But in case you need to be, make a huge step back, you have to document what you did otherwise you might find yourself forgetting a very good idea and blaming yourself for doing it okay so again as before much better ah much better you see okay less bulky still working and now it's locked it doesn't go up it just go down so now okay we can live with what we have we can make this taller cut this off okay now Let's make the tail a little longer. To prolong beams, I'll show you how to do it. So you have a brick here. You take some black pins 
and you want to put the pins so they overlap at least two holes but these are not enough because we want the tail to be stronger so so at least use three holes so pin space pin and attach it here like so so you get a, a long a long tail hope you can see it okay so, and if we can make this uh, helicopter are not symmetrical but let's make it not always symmetrical in this case I want to well we could also couple these two beams together with pins again to make them a little stronger uh, now I don't know where to put the where okay let's try like this and then let's see if I have to move this away okay so this is not what you want to do to your Legos I'm squeezing and bending them but I don't want to disassemble everything so they're flexible enough to do this of course wh when making building instructions the process is different I will document it so you can build it step by step 